March 19, 2019 will remain indelible in the minds of residents of No. 27 Joshua Owa Street, Mbangitam 3, in its local government area of Akwaibom State, and unfortunately, not for very pleasant experiences. Early hours of this day, they all woke up to what will remain a nightmare to them in many years to come. Meets Gloria Ocon, an ad hoc staff with the National Population Commission, whose entire property had been raised down in the inferno that started at about 2 a.m. This mother of three, while narrating in an emotion laden voice about her losses, says the piece of clothing on her back is the only item that was saved. I had a shout, so I jumped out also myself. When I came, I couldn't believe my, what I was seeing. The whole building was flaming with black flames so what i could do i rushed inside to pick up my children so i carried them out and i brought them out i was about going in so at least to pick up my documents they were telling me don't go inside again it's about to explode everywhere was dark i didn't even know what to do i don't know where to start from i don't know where to start from her predicament is not an isolated case as eight other families comprising about 30 persons including this baby have not only become homeless but also helpless in fact some do not even have clothes to wear i hear a bounce on my door very strongly very serious so as we are rushing out the next thing we see is fire, fire, which I cannot even stand. So my wife rushed in and took my two daughters out. Nice, we cannot remove anything, anything from there, we cannot remove. So since as we came out, look at us, we are like that. I just turned at that position you see there. So I see the, this flame just going up. From there I had to rush in on getting, I just picked my phone. We came out from there, just, we used to look for a way to make sure we them the team put down but to no avail. So we had to, had to go and call my co-tenants that please just stand up this fire. We came, we opened the gates, we brought out water and area at least uh, 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 like first aid, a remedy. We dissolved the area in water we were trying to throw and the thing overpowered us. We couldn't. The appeal is simple and that is just the basic necessities of life. Food, clothing and shelter and maybe a little more to set them up and give them a new lease of life. I paid my rent from January through December so from now there is no money on me. There is no money on me so I need assistance from government. Anyhow they can offer assistance please we are in need of assistance from them. I want the government to see after us. Uh, we don't have now right now we don't have way to stay. We don't have even clothes. Even clothes. We don't have even see I'm now even not sleepers. I don't have. It happened to our neighbors. They are our neighbors, it's just like ourselves. And since then, we cannot even do anything. We'll just be roaming about. They are one of us. We, are, we, are, we live as a family here. So please, they should see how they can help them out. Thankfully, no life was lost, and the cause of the inferno is yet to be ascertained. However, public-spirited individuals can reach out to these persons via the NTA. you reach them at number 27 Joshua Owa Street, Mbangitam 3. In its local government area, Edith Yongiba, NTN News.